Have you ever wondered about the significance of security in software development? In the vast, interconnected digital landscape of today, software security is no longer a luxury. It's a critical aspect that must be woven into the very fabric of every piece of software. This importance stems from the role security plays in safeguarding software against a wide array of threats and vulnerabilities. Just imagine, you've created a stunning new application. It's innovative, it's user-friendly, it's everything a user could want. But in the absence of robust security measures, it's also a beacon for cyber threats. These threats don't discriminate. They could be from individual hackers with a knack for mischief, or sophisticated cyber criminal organizations with sinister intentions. This is where the significance of software security really comes into its own. By integrating security into the software development process, we're not just bolting on a layer of protection after the fact. We're building a fortress from the ground up, with security measures integrated into every phase of the development lifecycle. Now let's take a moment to consider the impact of inadequate security. Picture a data breach, where sensitive user information is exposed for the world to see. Not only does this result in a loss of user trust, but it can also lead to significant financial loss. And once a company's reputation is tarnished, it can take years, even decades to recover. In an era where data is seen as the new oil, the consequences of inadequate software security can be dire. It's not just about protecting a piece of software, but about safeguarding an organization's reputation, its financial health, and most importantly, the privacy and trust of its users. With the rise of regulations like the General Data Protection Regulation in Europe and the California Consumer Privacy Act in the United States, the legal implications of not prioritizing security are also becoming increasingly significant. Therefore, integrating security into the software development process is not just an option, but a necessity. This is where Secure Software Development Lifecycle or Secure SDLC comes into play. Imagine your favorite building. It's not just about the beautiful exterior, is it? It's also about the robust foundation, the thoughtful planning, and the precise execution that went into constructing it. The same principle applies to software development. Secure SDLC is the robust foundation that ensures the safety and security of software products. So, what exactly is Secure SDLC? It's a systematic approach to integrating security measures into every phase of the software development process. The goal? To create software that's not just functional but also secure from the ground up. It's about weaving in security considerations from the get-go, rather than applying them like a band-aid after the fact. Now let's touch upon the main stages of Secure SDLC. First up, we have Requirements Gathering. This is where we identify what the software needs to do and how it needs to do it, all while keeping security top of mind. Then comes the design stage. It's like the blueprint of a building. We map out how the software will work, ensuring security is woven into the fabric of the design. Next is implementation or coding. This is where the magic happens, where the design comes to life. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. It's crucial to code with security in mind. After that, we have testing. It's like a rehearsal before the big show. We test the software for functionality, usability, and of course, security. Finally, we move on to deployment and maintenance. The software is launched, but the work is far from over. We need to maintain and update the software to ensure ongoing security. Let's not forget, each stage is like a piece of a puzzle. They all come together to form the secure SDLC, contributing to a software product that's not just efficient and effective, but also secure. Let's delve deeper into each of these stages and understand how they contribute to a more secure software product. The first stage is requirements gathering. At this point, we're not just defining what the software needs to do, but also how it should handle security. It's like building a house. You wouldn't want to add a security system after the house is built, would you? No, you'd plan for it from the start. In the same way, we need to identify and document the security requirements based on the software's functionality and potential risks. This could include requirements for user authentication, data encryption or protection against specific security threats. We also need to anticipate potential risks associated with the software. This involves identifying all the possible ways the software could be exploited and then planning how to mitigate these risks. This proactive approach not only helps in creating a robust software but also saves time and resources in the long run. A well-defined set of security requirements paves the way for a secure software development process. Next up is the design stage. This is when we draw up the blueprints for our software and it's crucial that security isn't an afterthought here. It should be weaved into the very fabric of the design process. 
When we talk about design, we aren't just referring to the user interface or how the software looks to the end user. We're also talking about the underlying architecture. This includes things like data flow diagrams, which show how information moves through the system, and threat modeling, which helps identify potential security issues before they become problems. We need to ensure that our design incorporates security at every level. This means considering how the user interacts with the system, how data is stored and transmitted, and how the system responds to potential threats. It's about creating a design that's not just functional and user-friendly, but also secure. A secure design lays a strong foundation for the subsequent development and testing stages. Moving on to the implementation or coding stage. This is where the magic happens, where your software starts to take shape. But with great power comes great responsibility. The implementation stage can be a minefield of security vulnerabilities, if not navigated with care. That's where secure coding practices come into play. You see, secure coding is more than just a technique. It's a mindset that prioritizes security from the first line of code to the last. It's about understanding that every decision you make, every function you write, can have profound implications for your software's security. But what does secure coding look like? Well, it involves adhering to a set of best practices designed to prevent common security pitfalls. For instance, input validation can help prevent injection attacks, while proper error handling can help avoid information leakage. It's also about using secure functions and libraries, which have been carefully designed to minimize security risks. Of course, even the best developers can make mistakes. That's why code reviews are so vital. They provide an opportunity for fellow developers to scrutinize your code for potential security issues. It's like having a second pair of eyes trained to spot the subtle signs of a security vulnerability. Code reviews can catch issues that automated tools might miss, making them a crucial part of the secure coding process. Speaking of automated tools, they too are an essential part of secure coding. Static and dynamic analysis tools can scan your code, identifying potential security issues based on predefined patterns. They're like your personal security guards tirelessly scanning your code for suspicious activity. In the end, secure coding is about vigilance. It's about constantly being on the lookout for potential threats and taking proactive steps to mitigate them. It's a continuous process of learning, adapting, and improving. Secure coding practices help in building robust and secure software. So, let's code not just for functionality, but also for security. After all, a secure software is a reliable software. Following the coding stage, we have the testing stage. Now you may ask, why is testing so crucial? Well, testing is akin to the final rehearsal before the grand play. It is the stage where we identify and rectify any performance issues, bugs, and more importantly, security vulnerabilities. Let's dive a bit deeper into the significance of security testing. When we talk about secure software, we're not merely referring to its ability to function without glitches. We're talking about software that can resist, withstand, and recover from threats. This is where security testing comes into play. It serves as the gatekeeper, ensuring that no software with potential security flaws slips through the net. There are several forms of security testing, but two of the most crucial are vulnerability scanning and penetration testing. Vulnerability scanning is like a general health checkup for your software. It identifies known vulnerabilities in the system which could be anything from misconfigurations to outdated components. On the other hand, penetration testing is more like a stress test. It simulates a real-world attack to see how well the system can hold up under pressure. Both of these tests are important in their own right. Vulnerability scanning allows us to patch up any known weaknesses before they can be exploited. Penetration testing, however, gives us a realistic idea of how our software would fare in the event of an actual cyber attack. Together, they provide a comprehensive overview of the software's security status. By conducting rigorous security testing, we can identify and fix security issues before the software is deployed. This, in turn, minimizes the risk of security breaches and data leaks, ensuring that your software is not just functional, but also secure. In the end, it all boils down to one simple fact. Secure software is not a luxury, it's a necessity, and the testing stage is where we make sure that necessity is met. Thorough security testing ensures that the software is ready for deployment with minimum security risks. Finally, we reach the deployment and maintenance stage. It's a common misconception that the journey of securing software concludes when the code is deployed. In reality, it's just the beginning of an ongoing process. Imagine software as a fortress, Building it strong is essential, 
but so is keeping an eye out for potential threats and updating your defense mechanisms accordingly. This is where deployment and maintenance come into play in our secure software development lifecycle. Once the software is deployed, it's exposed to the vast and ever-evolving world of cyber threats. It's like a new ship setting sail on the unpredictable seas of the internet. As such, continuous security monitoring becomes vital. This monitoring process involves keeping an eye on the software's operations and identifying any abnormalities that might suggest a security breach. This is akin to the ship's captain scanning the horizon for potential threats. It's an ongoing process that ensures the ship remains on its intended course, avoiding any unforeseen dangers. However, monitoring is only half the battle. The other half is the regular maintenance and updates of the software. As new threats and vulnerabilities are discovered, software needs to be updated to defend against them. These updates can be thought of as the ship's crew patching up any leaks and bolstering the ship's defenses against the stormy seas. In addition, it's important to remember that maintenance isn't just about fixing problems, it's also about improving the software, enhancing its features, and making it more user-friendly. In essence, it's about ensuring that the software continues to meet the needs of its users in the most secure way possible. In this ever-changing threat landscape, we can't afford to rest on our laurels. Deployment and maintenance require a vigilant and proactive approach, as new threats can emerge at any time. So, remember, securing software is not a one-time event, but a continuous journey. And this journey doesn't end with deployment, it merely shifts gears into the critical phase of ongoing monitoring and maintenance. Continuous monitoring and maintenance keep the software secure in the ever-changing threat landscape. Let's recap what we've learned about Secure SDLC. Secure Software Development Lifecycle, or Secure SDLC, is an essential framework that integrates security considerations into every stage of the software development process. It's like weaving a strong, durable thread of security through the fabric of software development. We kick things off with the importance of security in software development. In an age where cyber threats are ever-evolving, fortifying our software systems from the get-go is paramount. Secure SDLC helps us do just that, turning security from an afterthought into a fundamental building block of our software. Next, we dove into the various stages of Secure SDLC. The first step, requirements gathering, is where we identify and document security needs. It's like laying the foundation for a secure house. If we miss a brick here, the whole structure may collapse. Then, we moved on to the design phase. Here we architect our software with security in mind, planning for robust defenses and considering potential vulnerabilities. It's akin to designing a fortress, with every nook and cranny carefully thought out for maximum security. Following design, we stepped into the world of implementation or coding. This is where the rubber meets the road, and our secure design transforms into secure code. Testing came next. Like a rigorous workout for our software, we put our code through its paces, uncovering and fixing any security flaws that might have slipped through the cracks. Finally, we discussed deployment and maintenance. This stage is about keeping our software in fighting form, continually monitoring for new threats and making necessary updates to keep our defenses strong. Remember, secure SDLC is not a one-time process, but a continuous cycle of security improvement. Akin to a never-ending journey, secure SDLC requires a commitment to ongoing vigilance and improvement. It's not about reaching a final destination, but rather embarking on a path of perpetual security enhancement. So keep learning, keep improving, and above all, keep securing your software development lifecycle. So, that's all about secure SDLC. It's a fascinating journey, isn't it? But remember, it's not just about knowing these principles. It's about implementing them in your day-to-day -day software development projects. It's about making security a priority, right from the get-go. It's about recognizing that security isn't something to be tacked on at the end, but something that's woven into the very fabric of your software development lifecycle. Remember, the world of cybersecurity is continuously evolving. The threats we face today may not be the ones we face tomorrow. But with the secure SDLC, you're not just reacting to threats, you're anticipating them. You're building software that's not just robust and efficient, but also secure from the ground up. So, go ahead, take the principles we've discussed today and apply them. Make your software more secure. Make the digital world a safer place. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.